Look, Ross, I got myself a stive bear. Well, that's a lovely bear, very collectible. Isn't now, it? I saw a bear yesterday that mm -hmm. was completely made of cheese. Made of cheese? Yeah, it was a camembert. Oh, that's a cheesy joke. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is uh, Catherine from Sally Antiques and today I bring you this Stife Bear. Now Stife have been making bears since 1880, uh, so over 140 years now. Um, now particularly in 1989 uh, Stife introduced British Bears Collector Editions uh, exclusively for the UK and Ireland um, and here is the 1996. Now this little fella stands at about 43 centimetres tall um, and he is crafted from the finest mohair and is fully jointed as you can see. Whoop, whoop. Um, now Stife make their bears out of multiple materials, uh, it could be plush, woven fur, alpaca or Stife organic cotton, oh, obviously this one's made of mohair. Uh, and he's wearing a genuine tweed waistcoat, look at that, so cute. Um, and of course he's got the little stife tag on his ear there. Oh, do I hear something? And he's got a growler. <laughs> now, Stife actually have their own fabric factory uh, and they are the only toy manufacturer, specifically cuddly toys, uh, to do this. Um, now, the stages in which uh, a Stife Bear is made is, first, they are all hand-sewn and made. Every Stife Bear is handmade. Um, and then they are garnished. Uh, so this one doesn't actually have any garnish, but what that is, is um, ink is sprayed to define features of the uh, bear or animal or whatever it may be. And then, as I said previously, the last step is that they get the little stud in the ear, and that is to authenticate that it is, in fact, a real Stife Bear. Uh, just to give you a brief history of the company Stife, um, in 1847 the founder of the company Margaret Stife was born um, and now unfortunately at the age of only 18 months she fell ill with a fever um, which resulted in her legs being paralysed and her right arm being partially paralysed. Now despite this, in 1862 uh, she went to a sewing school at only the age of 17 and completed training to be a seamstress. She then went on to work with her sisters in a woman's tailor shop um, and once they had left home she continued her own ventures. Uh, so the official founding date of the Stife Company was in 1880. Um, now, about 20 years ahead of that, in 1902, Richard Stife, who is Margaret's nephew, created the 55PB uh, Bears, which is the world's first movable limbed bears, as you can see. Um, and in 1904, only a couple years later, Stife had their 24-karat uh, gold uh, branding tags put into the ears of all their uh, products so they obviously everyone would know that it's an uh, authentic Stife product um, and now only a few years after this in 1999 unfortunately Margaret Stife uh, passed away at the age of 61 uh, with a lung infection but her legacy did live on however. Thank you very much for joining me today with this little presentation of this little fella isn't he cute? Uh, I do recommend you check out sallyantiques.co.uk because we have quite the collection of Stife Bears. Uh, we have a koala, an elephant, a poppy. I think we have a William and Kate's uh, Royal Wedding uh, exclusive teddy bear as well. Um, so thank you and goodbye.